am not survivor man. I live here. You see no smoke in the village, even the fireplace is not on, yet it is warm inside. These houses get heat from the ground. The house has its heat pumps inside the floor concrete. The heat pump takes energy from the ground and heats the water that circulates the floor. In the summer, the sun warms the ground. We can cool that ground all winter. The heat pump works as a refrigerator, cooling the ground and giving it its heat to the floor. The vapor is compressed by a compressor so that it releases energy into the floor when condensed. When the liquid evaporates, it consumes energy, cooling the ground. Electricity is only needed for running the compressor and for circulating water in the floor and the ground. Controlling the heat pump isn't easy though. There's a huge amount of concrete with great heat capacity. Turning the heat pump on would not give instant heat, and on the other hand, the house will continue to be heated long after the heat pump is off. In addition to that, it is not unusual for the outside temperature to change by 70 degrees in one day. Most commercial controllers use real-time temperature control, but it is almost impossible to get perfect control with these. The other challenge is to make using the heat pump more efficient. Daytime electricity costs 2.7 times more than nighttime electricity. While compressor manufacturers struggle for a small percent of efficiency improvement while running their heat pumps with real-time control, just running the heat pump at night would give an enormous energy consumption decrease. Using nighttime electricity is possible because of the heat capacity of the floor, but this makes controlling the heat pump even more challenging. The solution? We need a weather forecast. Microsoft.NET Micro Framework is perfect for that. It's quite simple. The heat pump is always turned on at 11 p.m. when the energy price drops and is kept on just long enough to keep the perfect temperature for the next day. You can change the desired temperature right on the screen. You can also see the weather forecast and outside temperature here. For that we have connected three Dallas I2C temperature sensors, one outside, one inside, and one on the floor. An Azure service gathers RSS info for weather for all clients. It also gets feedback on energy use and actual temperatures from the clients for statistics. The controller connects to the server after approximately 30 minutes and there are only a few hundred bytes to transmit. The website was a pleasure to create with Silverlight. The user can see the same familiar screen as their controller shows. They also see their room temperature, and they can make adjustments to their desired temperature here on the very same screen. 
The info will then be downloaded by the client with the next session. They can also see nice history graphs for their local weather. They can see how much energy they have saved by using our controller. The controller is fault tolerant. It has protocols for both sensor failure and lost internet connection. The system works for my house and has proved to be very efficient. .NET Micro Framework was just what I needed. It had a super easy graphical interface, it was easy to connect to a website, it had all the interfaces I need for my sensors, and C Sharp is my favorite programming language. In addition to selling the controllers, the website and even the controller can be used for advertising. When people get excited, sensors for additional info, like wind speed and direction, humidity and others can be sold. The controller could be used for turning on and off other appliances. Weather and comfort has always been, and always will be, one of the main interests of the people. For economy solutions, the local screen is not even necessary.